One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. We're going to talk about the importance of opening volume and key times of the day in that discussion. Before we get into it, let's talk about the markets. Yeah, James, you're allowed to attend. Um, pull up, open all my chat boxes here. All right, let's get this up. All right, so today... <clears throat> <clears throat> Today, the overall markets favored the long side. Uh, we saw a little bit of consolidation. Really what I was pointing out at the open was on something like SPY, how you have this basic opening at the pivot point. And because the pivot point is underneath the red to green, that kind of gives us the indication that a lot of these dips are going to get bought. So even if we went under 405.50, <clears throat> under 405.50, the next top is 404. So under 405.50 under and then to four. So this gives us our range that we expect to see this bottoming formation happen, right? Like we discussed last week, we start to look in this and this becomes an entire scale zone that entire area right there becomes a scale zone. Now I'm looking, I know I'm going to look in this zone for some kind of bottoming pattern. We're probably going to bottom somewhere in this area. I don't know where exactly, but I'm going to wait for those confirmations. I can take starters into my lines and then I can add on those confirmations just based on simple technical patterns. One of the things to know here is that you don't want to be looking for a bottoming pattern <laughs> like above these levels okay <clears throat> you don't want to be looking for bottoming formations if the stock is trading up here why well because the midpoint to the s1 is down here so i know that if i'm if i'm looking for bottoming action somewhere up in this range i'm looking in the wrong place so i know that I need to be looking lower and that is the zone I need to be watching for. So since the SPY opened at the midpoint and it was below the previous closing price, the midpoint is, that tells me that we're probably going to rally off of the midpoint at the open. And I mentioned this in the chat room, okay? I'm not, none of this was hindsight. I didn't say this after the fact. All of this is up here. Oh boy, what y'all talking about Portnoy now again? Hey guys, my name is Toss Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. So... I said Apple 125 line potential long. I don't even know what happened to Apple today. Uh, never touched 125, so no trade on Apple. Overall ability to dip to the midpoint, that's like a minute after the open. <clears throat> Spy at that very moment was sitting on the midpoint. I said, so if you have stuff that follows the Spy, you can trade the open. Most of what I'm watching is following the QQQ, so I have to be a bit more patient, know your market. Down here, QQQ is I can't be aggressive buying a dip at the open when the midpoint is down here. I could easily get uh, trapped uh, or get faked out in this opening kind of in this opening candle. I need to wait until it gets into this zone before I ever do anything. So basically, once it gets under 330, I can do something. It didn't do it um, midday. It pushes. But let's talk about... Um, Kind of the overall three thesis here on where we're at now. So Q's are jamming back. You know, it did exactly what uh, one of the, we talked about two scenarios that could happen in the market. 
we talked about the scenario where it um, has this peak and then trough, peak, trough, peak, trough. And then right here was kind of the decision moment, whether we break down further or we retest 310 and then we have this rebound. Obviously we're in this moment right here. When what I'm talking about with this particular setup is knowing what you're going to do <laughs> once you get those confirmations. You don't know what you're going to do prior to this um, setup occurring because we don't know which direction it's going to go up or whether it's going to go down. Only thing we know is where the technical patterns could form. So being 310, that becomes a line. Now, I talked about how I didn't like the buying of the dip into 310 because it's the one, two, three, fourth test of 310. So had we gone back and tested 310, we probably would have continued back to 300. Um, but we discussed this and the outcome uh, I mean, it was it's textbook here. You can see the peaks and uh, valleys. So through all of this, it's fairly simple. Okay, it's basic technical analysis. So right here in this moment, what are we waiting for? Well, there's two form two formations right here. There's this downtrending channel that's occurring. Okay, so if we break that to the upside, that's one confirmation. And now we're waiting for this top right here to break. That's our second confirmation. So really, you had your confirmation <coughs> on Friday that we could potentially go higher. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.